My name is Andrea. I'm a certified Take Shape for Life health coach. I've been watching back a couple of my videos and I don't like say, hi, I'm Andrea. Hi. I'm, I'm not like a happy-go-lucky kind of person like that. I am happy and I'm go-lucky, but I'm, I don't come across that way, but I am. I don't want you to think that I'm angry. This is not an angry video. I have a client who's struggling. I have more than one client who's struggling at the moment. But this one client, and she'll probably know who she is as I um, sort of describe what's going on. I'm not going to be too specific, obviously, because um, this is her journey. It's not mine. It's not my place to expose who she is. Um, I have never, I've been working with her for a year, over a year, and I have never heard this tone in her voice. She is so low. She is not in a good place mentally. She has lost about 50 pounds with me. I want to say about 50 pounds. I don't know off the top of my head how much it was because it was just every week. It was just a celebration every single week. It was like, yay, lost another one. Yay, lost two. Yay, lost three. When she started with me, I've got my fancy schmancy computer in front of me. She started with me. She was just about 200 pounds and now she's about 160 pounds. So she's 40 pounds down approximately. Okay. Very short little thing. Very petite little thing. So she's little okay and she's been where she is for months and she's had some victories and she's had some defeats according to her and she's maybe depressed I'm, I'm not diagnosing her um, she's had some life challenges she hasn't allowed anything to get in the way of her at least maintaining her weight loss. And every week I'm on the phone with her and I keep on trying to, like I'm convincing her, there I go with the air quotes again, I'm like trying to convince her that she's already like won one of the battles. She has it's won. 130. It's 130. She has W-O-N, one of the battles of she didn't allow life to tell her that, okay, poop is gonna hit the fan now, so you might as well eat. Now, she's not losing weight. She still wants to lose a solid 30 pounds, 25, 30 pounds, uh, and I respect that. But I already think that she succeeded. She might not be done, but she's already succeeding. She's succeeding because she's not gaining the weight back. She could be gaining that weight back faster than it took her to lose it. Everybody knows that it's a lot faster to gain weight than it is to lose weight. Even if it was at the same rate that she lost, she could have been gaining one pound a week, two pounds a week, and she's not doing that. She's in maintenance. And I keep on telling her, I'm like, you're practicing. You're practicing for when you're at your goal. Now we have a lot of goals. There's not just one goal. It's not just like, well, there shouldn't be just one goal. Maybe you have one goal, but I would, I'm gonna try to convince you to think of other goals that you can have. You can have more than one goal going at once, okay? That's why it's a good reason to write it down so I can keep it straight in your head. One of her goals, when she signed up with me specifically, was that she knew how to lose weight, she just didn't know how to keep it off. She said, oh, I, I tried everything and I would lose all this weight and I would get to a certain point and then I would just, like, just pile it all back on again. And um, she came to me a year ago and she said, I, you know, I've been watching your videos and I hear these things, I see you on Facebook and blah, 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 and I think that you're gonna be uh, one of the important parts of this journey for me that I need to figure out not just how to lose weight but how to keep it off. And so, because she has maintained for two and a half, three months, I sort of feel like I succeeded also. Um, so, she is succeeding, and I am succeeding. And so, when she, you know, gets on the phone with me and she sounds kind of sheepish and she says oh well i didn't lose anything again this week and i didn't even want to talk to you because you know i didn't want you to think that you're wasting your time with me and i don't want you to give up on me and i'm like are you kidding uh, uh, <laughs> like 
what an ego boost it is for me that she's not gaining weight. Like, yay! That's like so awesome. It's so awesome. So, she's a winner. Winner.com. And um, I just want you all to know that maintaining your weight can be looked at as success. It might not be the end, but it's okay for you to not be mad at yourself. Negativity towards yourself doesn't burn calories. I had a, I have a mentor. I've known him for six to seven years and he introduced me to the idea of um, vibrations, okay? And just recently, I acquired another mentor, because we should all have a string of mentors, right? <laughs> and he, coincidentally, talks about vibration. So anyway, um, if you lower your vibration or you put your vibration to a point where it's just negative, 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 it doesn't work that way. You can't win that way. You can't get something positive out of being negative, okay? If you want a positive out outcome, you have to be positive about something. If you want your body to like you and do what you want it to do, then you have to do what your body wants. And when you're craving chocolate or you're craving a cheeseburger with french fries, you need to know that your body is not craving that. That's not your body. Your body doesn't want to be treated like crap. And putting crap in your body is treating it like crap because you are what you eat and your food is your fuel. So be kind to your body, put into it what it wants, which is clean protein, minimal carbs, fibrous carbs, hopefully, and a little bit of good fat, and then get a little bit of exercise and then just take a deep breath. And then if you do put some crap in there, um, you're allowed to forgive yourself, okay? All right. My name is Andrea. I'm a certified health coach. Um, this is kind of a boring video, but I think um, maybe this video is really just for her and me, because I just wanted to babble. I'm sitting here, I'm having my uh, afternoon cup of coffee and um, my, on my coaster. <laughs> a very dear friend of mine gave me a set of coasters that are cat asses. <laughs> And, uh, and I have a new desk and a new nice big shiny computer on a new desk here and it's my new little workstation so I just figured I would share some Friday love with you guys okay so if you have any questions for me about um, you know what I do or um, what's maybe possible for you you can just message me down below talk to you guys later